to Hoosier Crane TV. I'm Bill Gletty. And I'm Bray Beatles. Bill and I sell service and cranes for Hoosier Crane. We're also part-time anchormen. Today we're coming to you from our facility here in Elkhart, Indiana. Behind us, we're working on a large project out of, for our Indianapolis location, MS International. Features two different crane systems, including runways and four total cranes. Bray, I know we've been pretty busy since our last show. One of the big projects we had was a crane installation down at Honeywell in Muncie, Indiana. This project is, uh, we're installing a 20-ton bridge crane here outside, and its primary use is going to be outgoing uh, finished product. We make some very large pipe trains here, and those pipe trains are shipped out over the road, and so we have a lot of semis uh, coming in to pick those up. So this is going to help us load those out, uh, where in the past we've had to call in a uh, riggers uh, to do the loadout, either with cranes or heavy uh, fork trucks, or we've had to load some out ourselves. This is going to help us with that. Uh, it's always a scheduling issue between a rigger and then trying to schedule a crew a truck in here. So this is going to solve that problem for us. So we're more flexible, be able to get the truck in here where we can. Maybe it's day early, maybe it's day later. And we don't have to worry about getting on a schedule with a rigger at the same time. This is going to help out a lot and, uh, in the future. Hoosier Crane's done a really good job for us on this project, uh, so uh, they we got the structural in uh, last fall, early winter, and so we knew we had a long lead time on the hoist that uh, came from overseas, so we wanted an outdoor hoist, one that's got heaters in it, and uh, this unit uh, yeah, seems to fit that niche. This is going to help out a lot. We are now in our South Bay, where we have recently installed a new five-ton crane to help make our production more efficient. So here at Hoosier Crane, we've just um, put a building expansion on a couple years ago. So now we've installed a five-ton crane system with a street hoist um, that will allow us the capability to now have a horseshoe shape flow into our manufacturing. Currently what we have in process is a receive in, receive out in the same bay. Um, we fabricate, we assemble, we paint, um, everything in one shop bay. Um, so now we're going to expand into receiving all of our raw material into our south bay. This obviously will increase our safety. Um, we're, we're looking to also increase our quality uh, because you know we're trying to get guys that are essentially moving material and maybe not the same guy fabbing the material um, uh, going from the fabrication to the wiring um, we want to increase every aspect from safety to quality and the the lead time to the customer too if we can shrink our our lead time by 50 percent that's what we're looking at then obviously we can move forward on booking more customers more efficiently um, that that's our ultimate goal the guys in our plant are always busy at least they make it look like they are but they do do great work. Yeah, they're definitely usually busy. Here's a quick look at the evolution of a crane as it goes through our production facility.
Hoosier Crate takes pride in safety. We have an excellent track record. We recently had a safety training session on fall protection. A safety specialist came in from Tractel to help communicate some of the common misconceptions of fall protection. When, when we talk about fall protection education and training, it's a requirement. It's, it's OSHA requires that every single person be trained uh, and or retrained if they, you know, anytime you introduce a new hazard, anytime you introduce a new piece of equipment. So anytime we introduce, okay, so say we have a fixed ladder and we add a fall protection system, guess what? Now we have to train on that fall protection system because it's new. It's something we haven't used before. And like we talked about earlier, now your harness has to have a front deering in order to use that ladder climbing system with a cable. So there's, there's definitely some big, you know, importance on education and training and the things that we see in the field, like we talked about earlier, with the really driving home inspection and rescue and the things that people aren't necessarily looking at as closely as they should be. And so, you know, OSHA also says that you, and you know, if they, if a person shows that they don't understand, we need to do more training. So it's it's driven by both ANSI and OSHA in what they're dictating, and really just that education part of it. And it can be in-house training, but you have to be able to document where did you know if you're doing in-house training, where did you get the training from, you know? And so there's uh, and ANSI will will actually lay out in the standard. So in ANSI Z359.2, it will actually lay out how much, you know, you, what you need to know in detail. Like you, this person, if they're uh, an authorized person, they need to know this. If they're a competent person, they need to know this. If they're a program administrator, they need to know this. And so it really, it really helps when people are building their training programs and, and what, you know, who they're training, what they need to train on. Hey, Bill. Yeah, Bray. Did you know that Hoosier Crane was asked to speak at a national symposium for the crane industry in regards to fall protection? What's a symposium? You know what, Bill? I don't think anybody knows, but we're going. All joking aside, it's a great honor to be able to go and speak at this symposium. Hoosier Crane's going to put a video together. We're going to go back and we're going to talk to some of the old timers about back in the day when there wasn't as much concern about safety. I remember walking girder beams, but the girder beams were 18 inches wide, so it wasn't really that big a deal just to walk across them. The span was 80, 100 feet, so it wasn't really all that big a deal just to walk across it. But, but, but nowadays, man, you do that, you probably get kicked out. We'd literally get up on the block, up on the ball of a hydro crane, a crawler crane, and if you had to get up you know, three or four stories. You get up there and you saddle around the the uh, seat, sit on the headache ball and grab the cable and take a ride up. And that's just how everybody got up there. It was not uncommon to have to get up and walk out on the runway and get across the beam, crawl across the beam to get to the hoist if it was broke down. So that was a common practice at that time. Uh, there was nowhere to tie off to at the time. They didn't have any uh, safety lines on the runways or anything like that. One time we were doing an inspection and I, was, I had an iron worker with me. And uh, he goes, hey, are we inspecting the runways? And I said, yeah, we're going to be inspecting the runways. And I turned and I went to grab a flashlight out of my bag and I looked. And I'm looking for my partner and he's gone and he's walking down the runway. About gave me a heart attack. I'm like, what are you doing? He goes, I'm inspecting a runway. So it was the norm. Still to come on Who's Your Crane TV. Rebuilding together. We're getting too good at this. There's no bloopers. There's not going to be any bloopers. <laughs> yeah. We're good. And Bill and Bray's bloopers. Gorbell is our uh, primary workstation crane, jib crane, fall protection supplier. Um, Gorbell has been a supplier to Hoosier Crane since 2003. So actually a year after Hoosier Crane started, 
we had to wait for a dealership spot to open up before we could be a dealer. You guys have been a great partner for us. I think one of the primary benefits for Gorbel uh, having Hoosier as a customer is uh, and a, a partner, if you will, uh, is that I think the first thing that comes to mind is the loyalty. Um, uh, Hoosier is definitely a very loyal customer to the complete family of Gorbel products, and that's obviously greatly appreciated. But then, secondly, I think the huge benefit that Hoosiers brought to Gorbel is probably access to a very, very broad array of different end users. Gorbel has uh, been a really good supplier for us. Um, we have a, a really good sales rep that helps us out. Um, they have really good support on the back end. They have uh, tools like Crane Brain that helps people quote it. It also allows us to uh, set up dealers with it so that we can train the dealers so they can be self-sufficient with Crane Brain and quote their own stuff. Not only does Crane Brain develop the price for you within a matter of minutes, literally a matter of minutes, but it also develops a design with a CAD drawing for you that you can in turn share with the customer, use as an approval drawing, or use as a basis for potential changes. Price, delivery, and sales tools, I think really encapsulate the package. Um, from an individual sales perspective, Gorbel gives you some excellent sales tools. And I think one of the things that I like seeing that's uh, um, um, uh, nice to see is that everybody at Hoosier takes full advantage. Hey, Bill, have you ever received the Shining Star Award from Hoosier Crane? You know what? No, Bray, I have not. But I've been nominated a few times. I thought that was a dumb question. Every three months, Hoosier Crane honors an employee with a Shining Star Award. And our owner, Tom Schmidt, is always there to hand deliver the award. Uh, the quarterly um, award, the first quarter, I'll read some of the things that was said. Outgoing, always wanting to learn. Uh, another person said, can't pick one trait. Uh, exemplifies all of these. Helps anyone out. Liked by his coworkers. A true asset to Hoosier Crane. Another person said he's willing to go the extra mile. Uh, comes to the shop every morning with a smile on his face. Contagious. Uh, he's come a long way in a short time, so I said he a couple times, so he knows the he. <laughs> Stepped up to the plate. So, yeah, this person has really exemplified. Um, the growth process and what we um, are at Hoosier Crane because um, from what I hear and I haven't seen a lot, but what I hear is um, never complains, always willing to step up, has stepped up. So this one goes to Steve Kelly. And now another uplifting story. A great thing about the culture here at Hoosier Crane is the love to give back to the community. That's one of the many benefits of working for Hoosier Crane. Tom and Sherry take great pride in giving back to the community. And recently, Hoosier Crane participated in a Rebuilding Together project that really hit close to the Hoosier Crane family. Just a good way to give back, and this one in particular is uh, for our, one of our lost uh, employees last year. So we have a lot of family members, and it's very important to me, and um, seems to be pretty important to them too. So. It was.
was something he would have been interested in for sure. Um, he, he actually ran a, a landscaping company uh, before he started his time at Hoosier with a, a buddy of mine and they, they would come and do very similar things to this. So it was, it was work he enjoyed. Okay, so he would have been proud of this effort. Yes. It's just a blessing. Yeah. It's a blessing yeah. for both of us. Well, I got on on behalf of Rebuilding Together and the Board of Directors, I want to thank Hoosier Crane for coming out today and, and being able to help us on this project. Without volunteers like you, we wouldn't be able to serve the community the way we're able to do. Appreciate your support. Well, Bray, it's time to go. I got lots of open orders to go through. So do I. It's an everyday thing. On behalf of everybody at Hoosier Crane, thank you for tuning in, and we will see you next time. Hello, everyone. Welcome to Hoosier Crane TV. I'm Bill Galetti. And I'm Bray Beatles. Bill and I sell cranes for Hoosier Crane. Yeah, that's what it says. We're getting too good at this. There's no bloopers. There's not going to be any bloopers. Yeah. We're good. I feel like I can make you laugh at like any second. Give <laughs> oh, <no. laughs> glasses. <clears throat> Ready? Hoosier Crane takes pride in its safety efforts. We emphasize training. <laughs> you have random bits of knowledge. <laughs> So how do you want me to say it, smart guy? An uplifting story, and now for okay. an uplifting story. All right. Don't start until we finish, we get to the top. Okay. That way it's super awkward. <clears throat> That's what we're going for.